We continue to follow that breaking news from the CDC tonight. The nation's top public health agency says masks are still needed, despite the fact that planes, other forms of public transit, have ditched the mask mandates following that ruling by a judge in Florida. So now the Justice Department has decided to file an appeal in the case trying to overturn that judge's order. But as of right now, almost everywhere, it is up to Americans for you to decide whether or not you want to mask up on public transportation, airplanes, if you're going on spring break. The developments over the past few days have people asking a lot of questions, especially when it comes to safety. Dr. Monica Gandhi is with the University of California, San Francisco, and joining us tonight. Uh, doctor, I feel as though, and I said this earlier, I've got a bit of mask whiplash. You know, wear the mask, don't wear the mask. Maybe we're going to have to wear the mask again. What is your message? to the traveling public right now? You know, we are at our lowest hospitalizations in the last two years. They continue to be low, dropped 4% in the last two weeks, ICU admissions down 28%, and deaths down 37%. We're in a good phase of the pandemic. It's why masks are not required indoors in multiple places. People are gathering, people are together, people are without masks, and there isn't that much evidence that we need to do this right now, that we need masks on public transportation. Actually, people are wearing a bunch of different masks and half of them don't work. Half of them are caught. Half of them are falling off. And so we just, I think that it would be best to just let this be. But the CDC is our top health agency. So what information are they looking at? Because they are still saying, we want you wearing masks. I think this is partially because they want the authority to put back public health measures when needed. I think it's a symbolic gesture to apply. I think they know that we're well within the parameters of low community levels in all of our counties across the United States. We're really in a good place. President Biden's going to the White House Correspondents' Dinner on April 30th. He won't be wearing a mask, and there'll be many people there. We trust in our vaccines, and 95% of us have antibodies to the virus. So I think they know where we are in the pandemic. It could be just to retain authority for the future. Hmm. Uh, it does seem th that there's a lot of politics involved. Who's primarily getting really sick right now? Is it still the unvaccinated when you look at the hospitalizations? So it's two groups. Um, essentially, our hospitalizations, again, are very low. I have one person in my hospital with COVID, but it's two groups. Unvaccinated adults who still decline to be vaccinated and older people who haven't gotten that third dose. We need the third dose for older people. We need the fourth dose for those over 80. And then very immunocompromised, not just routinely immunocompromised. My father has cancer, he has chemotherapy. That is not decreasing his immune response. We gotta keep that in mind. These are great vaccines. It's very profoundly immunocompromised patients. They should be on Evusheld, which is a, something that protects them for six months. But that's why our hospitalizations are going down. We have great treatments, we have great vaccines, and we got a lot of natural immunity during Omicron. Uh, real quickly, before I let you go, I'm glad you brought the, the booster and the vaccines up because we have a, a question from one of our viewers at home on Instagram. Mama3Clark uh, commented when I said, what questions do you have about COVID? She said, I haven't received my second booster yet. How important is the booster? I'm over 60. So what is your overarching message uh, for people, healthy or not over 60, about boosters and how many shots we need? I'll tell you that I think that the fourth shot is most important for older people. So I kind of wait until you're 80 or so, unless the cases are going up in your region. If they're going up in your region, go ahead and get that fourth shot. You want to keep yourself as protected as possible. And only certain type of masks work. I just want to add that. So if you're going to wear a mask, wear a good fitting mask. Especially if you're immunocompromised. Are you suggesting that people who are more at risk wear those masks, especially in transit, popular, crowded places? Yes, I mean, yeah. what we've seen that the mask mandates don't make a difference. Why is that? Because everyone's just wearing a bunch of different masks. But what one way masking does is really protect you as an individual. If you are vulnerable, if you're immunocompromised, I would wear a good fitting N95, KN95, FFP2, or KF94. One way masking is going to be probably the way of the future after we get off this hump. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.